My name is Andrew Rashke. My name is Aaron Wessel, and I am an SPO missionary. On shoot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. That's kind of a Ooh, oh, mystery. mystery. Okay. okay. Call another missionary and sing them a song. <laughs> Give no context. Just start singing. Who should I call? Uh, you can call Schmid. <laughs> <laughs> Just start singing? Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what song are you going to sing? I don't know. Please, please. You can call Brett. Hello. This is Brett. <clears throat> Dang. Um, all right. I'll call Johnny Gruba. Perfect. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay. That was amazing. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think I know that. Ooh. What is the most memorable moment in your history with SPO? <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Um, wow, 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 If it wow, doesn't wow, involve wow, me, I'll wow. be super sad. So I think the moment that I like really started to discern mission was, it's one of the most memorable. Um, that was at Texas State's Fan into Flame, mm. November 2021. I've told you about yeah. this. Um, yeah. For the first time ever, rested in the spirit, which was really profound. Um, and going into the retreat, I was like really wrestling with the future, job, different job opportunities, what I was going to do. And I, I realized on that retreat that I had never like allowed God into it. I had never like let Him kind of lead the lead the way. It was always like me asking God to bless my plans. Um, so going into that retreat, I was like, Lord, just help me figure out what I'm going to do. Um, and through that, he like opened my heart and told me like, no, actually you need to let go of what you want to do and like, let me guide you. Um, and it was through that that I started to discern mission. Right. Ooh, I'm gonna get... Ooh, okay. What is Jesus doing in your life today? Oh, okay. Over the past week and a half, I would say the Lord has been deeply revealing my heart and how he's uniquely created me, actually. But it's really been out of this place of it's like, you have created me this way with these unique desires and this unique um, way to love and engage people. And how do you actually want me to use that for you instead of being distracted by other people in my life or family or friends that it's like, actually, I want to be distracted by you, Jesus. Mm. And when you actually hold my entire heart, I'm actually able to give it away. Mm. So wow, that's what the Lord's been doing in my life. That's awesome. So dang. Ooh, mystery. Okay, here we go. Name as many current SPO missionaries as you can in one minute. Oh my right. gosh. I'm gonna get a timer. Okay. And we're wow. Gonna go. I'm gonna forget some of y'all and I'm sorry. I love you. Um, but I'm not good at these. Alright. Are you are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Andrew Rashke, Andrew Dan Miller, Matt Schmid, Jacob Hogue, Josiah Claus, Matt Ron, Tobias, sorry. Um, Jacqueline and Johnson, Tessa. I just go ahead. Chapter. Um, um, uh, Chris McLaughlin, Ivan, uh, not Tom. <laughs> um, 40 seconds. Andy Pareto. Uh, dude, my brain. Dude, who's on your mission team? Uh, oh, Lola, Roger, <laughs> um, Michael Fontana, Dazlin Fontana, <laughs> Georgie, Hannah. Um, I think that's all Texas. Okay, Minnesota. Um, yeah, Saint yeah. Um, uh, uh, what's your name? Katie, uh, Thomas Corzo, Dusty, Johnny Verba, um, Miriam, and JR, Cecilio, 15. Thomas Murphy. Um, I love you all. Dave Hay. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what uh, Five. Um, three. Uh, Teddy. One, uh, nine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's awesome. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> Yo, oh, here we go. Fun. All right, is this rigged? I'm so many SPO <laughs> questions. I'm just kidding. What was the biggest surprise you encountered after becoming a missionary? The amount of freedom I would experience in worship, mm. and then the amount of joy our life is because literally every second of the day is jam packed with people yeah. and also silence and time with the Lord. But it's like everything is oriented towards God. Um, which is nuts because it can be, I can have a Catan game night with mm. my roommates and the way we actually talk and engage each other is wholesome. Yeah. Or we can go to adoration or we can play soap ball in the mm -hmm. backyard and it's yeah. all like oriented towards God. That's awesome. So that's been my biggest prize. Yeah. That's awesome. Man. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. What is it like to have a relationship with Jesus? Good question. Wow, that's a good question. Um, uh, I think the way I'm going to answer this is go before I had a relationship with Jesus, where I am now. Um, before my relationship with Jesus, I thought that God was very distant and that my faith was, like, like the Catholic faith was just like guidelines and rules you had to follow, otherwise you were a bad person and they were like restricting my freedom. But after my relationship with Jesus, I encountered relationship with Jesus, I should say. Um, I experienced that like through the faith and through following Christ, there's actually a ton of freedom. Um, and you experience freedom, freedom from, in my own life, freedom from addiction, um, freedom from like wounds. Um, through following Jesus and having a relationship with Jesus, I learned what it was like to forgive and to like um, ask for forgiveness and also to give forgiveness. Um, and yeah, I can confidently say that like relationship with Jesus is necessary and, and key to my salvation um, and key to like lasting joy and satisfaction in my life. Was saying yes to mission easy? So before senior year, I I'd had come out of the summer at this place, like the Lord's calling me into mission. I don't know what that looks like. Looking at like four different mission organizations, um, but all with the intention of like, I'm gonna do this for a year. And then I'm gonna go back to my plan God and go to medical school mm. and do 25 years later and yeah. So then I went to Ascend and we were in the men's group session on like Friday or something. Mm. And Nick Red, who's my supervisor now, got on stage in the middle of our prayer meeting and gave this word about Abraham and Isaac and said, we're all Abraham and we all have been given Isaac, but God is calling you to sacrifice your plans and everything back to him because he's God. Hmm. For me, it was this moment of like, Damn. dang, the Lord has given me my Isaac and my dream of medical school and everything I want. Yeah. And now he's asking me to like, let it all go and just say, yeah. okay, God, I'm just going to go. Wow. And I got prayed over. I let it go. And then that night we sat at the back of our hotel room as you, Matt and I, and we're all like, yep. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a mission with SPO, and yeah. that was it. It was the easiest decision I ever made because I knew that it's like, all right, this is what you want, Lord. I'm yeah. going to say yes, and the greatest piece I had came. So Yeah, that's awesome. How about you? Okay. At the end of your life, what do you hope to look back and say? <laughs> uh, about time? No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> there's a common phrase used, not a common phrase, I think common in SBO circles, that no one got to the end of their life and regretted giving too much. And so I would like, by the end of my life, to not regret like giving too little. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. Know I that I gave. All, know that I yes. gave everything. If I have a family and and um, I raise my children right, like, hopefully, yeah, hopefully I can confidently say that I, I like raise them well, so that they can raise their kids well in the faith. Um, and that that's kind of what I mean by legacy. Uh, or you know, if I'm not called to marriage. 
I'm called to religious life. Like I can say that I, I left a legacy there um, and I gave it my all. And yeah, people can look to that and be like, oh, he left a legacy. He gave it his all. So come Holy Spirit, you can do it. Do the Lord. What is your dream? I had my journal, I wrote like 10,000 of them down <clears throat> a month ago. I dream to walk in more of the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I dream to be a part of a community that raises up the next generation uh, of Catholics in the world. Mm -hmm. I want to see the Father's face. That's what I really want. I want to know Jesus so well that I can see the Father's face one day. Hmm. Dang. Amen. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs>